This what the city been waiting on. You ain't know. Big homie. <laughs> Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis. Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis. Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis. We fuck with East St. Louis. They say we crazy around her. Lunatic St. Louis. Better watch your mouth around her if you don't rep St. Louis. Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis. Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis. Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis. We fuck with East St. Louis. They say we crazy around her. Lunatic St. Louis. Better watch your mouth around her if you don't rep St. Louis. They let me in now. St. Louis niggas in the pen now oh, yeah. It's doing 24 to life We're getting 10 now And when you touch down Fish we going in now ah, Bitch I'm jamming hard Word to my nigga jam North side, south side Them niggas going ham Don't let me make a call Cause all my killers fam Acts around the city They'll tell you I'm the man So all the towners come correct Or they don't come at all And if you sightseeing You better go see that baseball You know and a lot of that But I promise you want that action We can handle that Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis We fuck with East St. Louis They say we crazy around her Lunatic St. Louis Better watch your mouth around her If you don't rep St. Louis Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis Bitch, I'm Big St. Louis We fuck with East St. Louis They say we crazy around her Lunatic St. Louis Yeah, yeah, yeah Hey, that's that exclusive joint right there, man. That ain't even out yet, man. Uh, I said I'm gonna make sure I play that all day today and tomorrow. That's that big St. Louis. Uh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. You know, paying homage to the lunatics in that motherfucker too. So, uh, lunatic St. Louis, if you ain't know. But speaking of lunatics, man, uh, I got one of the uh, one of the colorful ones in the building. You see me? Yeah, I already know, Mr. Keywan himself. You see me in the building? Yeah, about to have a Keywanda for moment. Wow. Man, what's going on with it, man? What's going on with it? Man, it is what you make it. You hear me? I hear you, man. I hear you, man. Uh, man, so how you been, man? I'm keep wonderful, man. <laughs> how, you, how you been? Like, how the family doing? How the fellas doing? You know, we look how we feel. I feel how we look. So we try to stay. You know what I mean? We good, man. It ain't nothing. It's, it's crazy how people look at tomorrow like it's the biggest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. So we had to change our energy because to us it's like here come Tuesday. <laughs> here come, I mean not not because it's St. Louis, just because we do it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But it is special, so we should treat it as such. Exactly, you know exactly. Because I mean, so. tomorrow is three one four day. Yeah. Uh, if y'all don't know, if you don't know, you're under a rock some damn where I don't know how yeah. you don't know, especially if you in St. Louis. Well, I heard the racist, racist, racist. Can we curse on here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Heard the racist shit in the got, world at the gallery of the day. I got sponsors yet. I'm working on that. All right. <laughs> shit. I heard the. I'm talking about this man was so racist, and he thought I was, you know what I'm saying, because I was on this. I was talking to him. Mm-hmm. He was like, they only got me working by myself. He was at the Cardinal uh, spot. He was like, they only got me working by myself. It's stupid. Who knows? What is this 314 thing? I never even heard of it till I start working here. What's the big deal? It's a fucking day. <laughs> 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 and my wife said, well, what's wrong? Nothing. He over there being white. <laughs> I'm like, what you doing, dog? You over there hating. It's, it's all good. I love it, though. I so y'all spirit. are performing. Uh, what that flyer? I got the flyer. I'm going to put that flyer. Y'all are performing tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Man, the lineup is crazy. Like, nigga, that's like half of the city. Mm-hmm. Like, how you feel about that, man? Being, of course, y'all gonna be headlining because y'all are one of the top groups of all time. Let's mm-hmm. just put that out there. Fuck if anybody got to say something about it. Not just here. <laughs> uh, the, other, the world. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Paige. Not just Paige. <laughs> this shit work. This card work all over. But like going in tomorrow, man. Like. Cause I know y'all y'all done, done three one four days before, but three one four day has now become like a damn a real real holiday. You yeah. know, it was celebrated before. I mean, the, the deeper part is we was actually part of the first ones. Mm-hmm. We just couldn't really participate like we wanted to. So when Tatum and Dip did it at um, at the championship room in uh at the Bush Stadium, mm-hmm. 
we was part of it early on in the game, and then when it got closer to it, we got booked for some bigger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right then, we was doing some uh, crazy shit, so we ain't going to miss that 500. No, no, no. You got to go on tour. got to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happened with that. But just to see it grow and not be just about celebration, it's also about growth. So three days before tomorrow, they've been raising money for scholarships and things of that nature, doing different activities with um, – the Armory, Battle Hogs. I've seen that. Shout so out to the Battle Hogs, you know too. Uh, yeah, I've been making them jackets, too. I've been killing them Battle Hogs jackets. Uh, yeah. Who had on one? Uh, Shorty. Shorty, yeah, yeah I've been yeah. killing them. Yeah. And yeah. they won. Yeah, man, they had like 40,000 people out there. Close yeah. To, close to 40,000. Yeah. People yeah. don't understand, man, St. Louis is a football state. We want that. So yeah. for the XFL to come back, and that's big, especially here. You got to know what big is. Sometimes you don't know what big is until you leave or go somewhere else because, like, we got one of the biggest. We the second biggest Mardi Gras. We got Forest Park, one of the biggest parks in the world. Um, last night we broke a record for real with Battle Hawks for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like a lot of things that happen. People just like, all right, we got the arch. Ain't nobody been down there ever. No, I mean, I mean <laughs> like, you know I'm, 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 I've never been in the arch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. So it's deep, man. We big. We just got to know it. Yeah, I've never been. You ever been in arch? No. Nah. <laughs> so I'm alone. I've, I've been that high before. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't alone, bitch. I ain't alone, bitch. So uh, you actually too, you just put out a recent project like a single, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I've been playing with some some things out here, man. I ain't really a big solo artist like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just I just know what it take, and I know it, what I got to give. So sometimes I don't be in that element all the time. Okay. Maybe later, but I don't be in that. Element. I'm. I'm more of a person to say what we say, what we look, how we look, where we going to move, how we going to make the, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. Is that why you never really branched out, like doing the, the major height of everything, never branched out to do your own thing? Yeah. I just never, I just feel like four people doing a fast break, somebody got dropped back on defense. Exactly. So, I never really, I've been taught if you ain't putting in that work, then, you know, get nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't put that work in in that element. Gotcha. To get it out of it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I've been back behind the scenes, writing movies, creating a look, creating what we drinking, creating, you know what I'm saying, movie, uh, you know, different things that happens after music. Gotcha. Because gotcha. nobody hey, makes money. I was money. far ahead of that. Like, yeah. a lot of people was getting their drinks and getting that. No, when y'all was way ahead of that, yeah. coming out with your own uh, champagne, yeah. freaking Moscato. Like, y'all was ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of things, man. We had a vegan restaurant. 18 years ago. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Maryland Heights, brother? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Out Westport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, man. Yeah, man, we are here. You know, it's, it's about teaching. It's about learning. So be a leader and a follower. Just follow the right people. Gotcha. So it, even coming up in St. Louis, man, like, how was that? Like, like even before the music. Like, like just, just go back a second. Like, mm -hmm. this, because you come from your city. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and, you know, your city is known for... Niggas they could dress and all that, so I know you was one of them. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and it was harder for me because I was a crip, so. Oh. Okay. You know we was considered dirty, so I had to. <laughs> I had to jabo on the death, and you know what I mean. I had to crease polo, you know what I mean. I had to do me. Oh, okay. Only wear dickies one time. Oh, okay. Then they over with. Gotcha, gotcha. My cousin actually went the one feel like he was. He went to said He was a football player there, mm. so that's probably where you know him from. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know I'm from UC, but I don't know I'm from football. I'm not a football person. Gotcha. I tried, and they wanted me to be a quarterback, and I'm like, I don't want this responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> I came to be a receiver. What the hell? Is, what, what the hell just happened? You like a leader? I don't want to be no leader. No. I look at the coach, because it felt like it was weird though. Why I didn't want to be a leader at that particular time? Because like they treated you different. Mm -hmm. You know, I can be a leader on a baseball field. It's different. Football. Cause I used to play tricks on, do stuff with people, you know, trip them and play with them, and and when they do it to me, and they get caught, they run laps. I'm watching them. It just turned the whole demographic how they felt about me. You know what I'm oh, saying? Because yeah. the coach treated the quarterback like he was the best thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like that was so uncool, like to separate that like that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like 12, 13. I'm like, man, this ain't. I played soccer. I played spades. I played monopoly. I played uh. With your mom? No. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying? I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete, though. Okay. Like, I played Sandlot football, but I ain't never. The organized football, I did one year of that. I'm did cool. Murph play football? Nah. 
Murph don't even look like nah, he we baseball. No, nah, Murph, bas- baseball, basketball. No, I I'm play. talking about like a football player. He like, he yeah, he ain't, he ain't got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> like probably hit him one time is over. Yeah, we both. <laughs> yeah. Got my little brother. <laughs> so I actually come to so, like, let's, uh, people texting and all that. Um, growing up in city, y'all come about, I we all heard the stories of how the group came about, you know, um, you know, we all heard all that how it came about. But when y'all when y'all really got into music, when did you decide you was gonna do music? I don't know, man. It's Ali. That's it's just like um, Ali saw something else in us besides music. Mm-hmm. It just saw how people attracted to us, how people talked about us after we left the room. You know, with him being a barber, and we coming in the barber shop doing our one two, and uh. And Lee was right. Yeah, he was like, y'all, y'all don't rap? Like, nah. We played with it, but, mm, mm. Shout out to Lee, you're still around, too, man. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, shop been there a long time. Then me and Nelly went and did the song at uh at Big Al House. Shouts out to Big Al. That's my dude. And, uh, and it went from there. And then we won the contest. And we just start doing music. They used to get, like, 15 of us in the room. And everybody left. Everybody beep went off, and everybody left but us. And that's how the group was. And that's really who was serious and who, you know. So you knew, wait a minute, so y'all knew Al before D2? Yeah. Dope, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm from Yeah, he's from U-City. Okay, I so, didn't know And he that. stayed right by Nelly, right by the U-Haul in U-City on Olive. So we went by Orlando Watson, too. So okay. All that was before D2. Oh, yeah, didn't even know that. So, yeah. Ah, oh, that's my dude. He, in the, he actually in the film, too. Yeah, the film work and mm-hmm. all the cameras and everything. Yeah, um, he gonna be on the podcast. He's just so damn hard to catch up with. Yeah, but. he gone now. He in Florida somewhere. Yeah. somewhere. I don't know where he is. I know where he is, but I don't know where he is. He be moving. <laughs> get to it, baby. So y'all get the deal. Mm-hmm. Deal is on. Like, what are you thinking? Like, cause you, 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 you city, but now you world round, world round, yeah. like instantly, like. It ain't instantly, but you know. It almost was. Yeah, I'm like, it's damn near you hear. I mean, once we got signed, it was, it was, it was almost an instant, and that happened because, um, after we got signed, so they gave us like a month or so to finish the album, right? Mm -hmm. And we was like, man, we could finish this album so fast, you know what I'm saying? They was like a month. We was like, we done this month in two weeks, (laughs) and they looked at us funny, like. Like, but it got to be good, like that type of shit. Like, I'm, we gonna, all right. Exactly. It's too many, too many heads in one, you know, facing one thing. You know what I'm saying? So, we attacked it, and we was doing two songs a day, easy. And you know what I'm saying? We was done in two weeks. So we caught, we caught the. Um, so usually when you done with your album, you sit in front of everybody, each department, the long table, marketing, overseas, all this stuff. So they play your records and see what they gonna do with you, mm-hmm. see how you look and all that. So. We were supposed to catch the next one, but we finished the album so fast, majority of the song, mm-hmm. that we got we caught the one before that, before our even time before our time was. Okay. So we didn't have that sit down time. We went straight, went in that room and performed. We didn't know we wasn't supposed to perform. Oh. We supposed to listen. But we can't take it. Oh, okay. So you just standing there, everybody looking at you, you just standing up. So is like, it is like it safe? Like so y'all, y'all y'all invented the performing thing, cause you know now people go in there and perform. They don't just listen. Now, okay. So imagine Bobby Smurda. Yeah. Then not yeah. Well, that was us. Okay. That slow down on. Yeah. What I heard one nigga did that and broke their table. They did not sign that. Yeah, that wasn't. <laughs> can't break the table. <laughs> Got to put the little homie up there. Don't, don't get up there. Yeah, we we wrecked that mug and they seen, cause a lot of times we was getting we was getting um looked at by a lot of people but it was like they didn't really know what to do with us marketing wise mm-hmm. they said it sounds good but it's new like what do you do with that mm-hmm. so kevin law took the chance and uh and we went from there man we went up so we already was in like a circle of oh we we seen them now mm-hmm. like they seen what club was seen they seen what saints seen they seen all that mm-hmm. right there in that one time it was it had been harder if we were just out and we just in the hotel and you sending over stuff and it would be harder, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Me knowing that now, you know what I'm saying? So they put us out on the road in the van, us and Yin Yang Twins, and we didn't know we was trying out, though. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just throw you in the middle. Now, ain't no stage. It's just go like you're finna break dance or something. Oh, <laughs> make a circle. <laughs> Push it out there. And literally, for real, like our second and third shows, like girls was fainting. Man. 
And that's when we knew. So us looking like we looking from UCD and from, you know what I mean? And then Yin Yang Twins looking, it was like, we was winning just off the the mood and the energy. You know what I'm saying? So, and we went up from there, they do what to spend their money on. And then it's a lot of different situations that help. And uh, togetherness is really what pulled us over though. But little stuff like DMX being intoxicated and can't make it. And we end up yeah. taking that shot. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like the first MTV Awards, we weren't even supposed to be on stage. We were supposed to be outside. You know how they do the outside shows? Yeah. I remember. And yeah, then you go in. That. Right. They still do it. We were supposed to be in that. Wow. And he couldn't make it. So he he didn't. Out. He didn't. Make, he was late to the rehearsal. And it was like, y'all think y'all can do it? Yep. We went back to the store. Got some more clothes. Damn. That's it's a different crazy. outfit. Nigga. <laughs> 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 Parking lot pimping outfit versus <laughs> versus we going in to get a table. You know what I'm saying? So we 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 got busy, man, and we turned up. It's been, now, it's been up. Now this when y'all y'all doing this now, the management y'all up on this T Love at the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So y'all still y'all still T Love my cousin. Oh, okay. That's me and Murph's cousin. His um. So y'all just had a family. His mama, just yeah. Putting everybody in position. T Love Mama is my stepfather's uh, twin, twin brother, and he been my stepfather since I was four or five years old. So was he managing before managing y'all or? No, we built them. Everything was built from the beginning. Everybody, like you talk on the phone a lot. You make moves in the streets. You know how to do that. You know how to. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to do the one too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know how to ask phone calls, call, make some, put people together. So, that's your position. Damn, that's dope. That's you like to drive a lot? You the bus driver. You like to play with lights and lighters and shit? You the <laughs> light man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, yeah, let's go. Man, that's you know what I mean? didn't know that. That's so, what's up, yeah, man. It's very family-oriented. And, and, and as it should be, you know, because a lot of motherfuckers, you doing something, you go get somebody else outside. No, man. How yeah. are people, man? But if, they doing, but if they doing wrong, they got to go. Stop cutting people off so fast, y'all. Like, we cut people off so fast. And ain't no teaching element in it. You know what I mean? That's just like, if I come to your restaurant for the first time, and we be like, I'm going to the black-owned restaurant. We go there, and we don't like the napkin, and we don't come back. But I always remember Target got a, when you, as soon as you walk in Target, mm-hmm. it got a line over there that say, bring it back. Yeah. That means everybody make mistakes. So we should get that leverage. So as soon as somebody make a mistake, we be like, cancel them. Instead of being like, yo, this is business. how this go. This is how we should do this. This is how you should approach this. Oh, you need some help? Let me hire another help. Take some of your percentage and give it to him so you can cover your old circle instead of canceling everybody out. You know what I mean? We we just don't give no type of leverage on it. We got to straight up be like. Because some people actually don't know when they even put in positions. Yeah. Shit. Because I know some people like, shit, you want to pay me X amount of dollars. I'm not going to turn it down. Mm-hmm. I can learn. But at the end of the day, some people, and it really stigma with black on mm-hmm. business. When I say black owned business, people damn near go looking for you to fuck up. Like, and if you fuck up, they blast you. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about blast you all across social media. I don't see no motherfucking, they don't blast Walmart, Target, nothing, and they go back. Or oh, they blast them, they go back, though. Yeah, they go back. That's a big difference. You're going back, and you're telling them lie what they need to change, and they'll try to change it or not. Yeah, man, that's, that's why. I don't know. And I, 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 I got a thing about I don't like people to label me as a black owned business. No. And and because that's I feel like if you label me as a black owned business, you don't only support me because I'm black. No, I want you to support me because I got a good product, I give good customer service, well, and I just so happen to be black. Well, sometimes they don't know that until they get in there. So sometimes yeah. that black that black get them in there. And that's your job to be corporate, black or white. Yeah. But you need the marketing to make somebody say, Hey, I'm gonna choose you today. No matter what that is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The girl might have looked at you for your chain, but she realized you're a good dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now she ain't got to steal your chain. <laughs> Wait, whoa, what happened? I had a wild night. Yeah, you 15 grand in the hole. <laughs> so, uh, man, well, y'all on tour. Y'all got the deal. And the album, Nelly album comes out. That does fucking off the wall numbers charts mm-hmm. uh nas diamond free city come out mm-hmm. now is all y'all turning up for that like mm-hmm. what's going through your mind now man it happens so fast we don't even, <laughs> we, we don't even, we wasn't even we wasn't even on it we was just it was something to do tomorrow like 
We just never celebrated. That was the the only bad part. We never celebrated um, like we should have because it felt like we celebrate. Then that means it's over with or you done. So Did we you all regret that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the only thing I do regret for real. Never really stopping. Uh, like we've been everywhere and nowhere. Wow. So if I was to come to St. Louis, I went to the the hotel, mm-hmm. the Galleria. CC's vegan spot, the radio station, work, after party, bye. Back on the road. It wasn't no, hey, let's go to our aquarium. Mm-hmm. Hey, let me take my family. Hey, let me, let's go walk down, you know what I'm saying? Like, did that put a strain on, like, relationships and stuff? Yeah. It got to. That's why a lot of people date people that's in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So a lot of people date people that's in the industry because they understand. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? They understand. You, I'm going to be gone for a minute. I got things to do. You want somebody to be able to push you out, to to push you out of the house going towards work rather than saying, Why, where are you going? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Cash. Get that. That's, that's edgy. That's edgy. Oh. So um, are you married? No, mentally. Mentally. <laughs> you believe in that? Believe means I don't know, but yeah. Cause I know I know Murph Mary, Ali. Yeah. I don't know about Slow Mary. I don't think Slow Mary. No. Nelly and Mary. Mm-hmm. And you know, okay. Nah, but I'm I act as such. Act accordingly. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Which ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't, man, personally, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I'm married, you know, and I don't even want my, I should probably watch this. But if I was to do it again, like, I would do everything again. It, it don't really need to be. I feel, and this is, I may be even get in trouble with this. Some marriages are just about paper. Oh, mar- you know? marriage is business. Yeah, it's a business. Relationship is business. All of it's business. Love just keeps you around longer. And it makes you go down on the couch and sleep rather than leave, period. And it's a tie together. So even if we skip the marriage part and we just go on to the prenuptial agreement mm-hmm. and which is not a bad word, it's only a bad word. So like a contract is a, not a bad word if the contract helps you too. Mm-hmm. So look at your prenuptial agreement and say, no, nah, I'm not doing that. And no, nah, if you leave me, if something happened wrong, then I get this for two years and I want this per month. And this, you leave with that, I leave with this. That's how we do it. Mm-hmm. That's business. Because you always want argument away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the real thing is, uh, the biggest word in the world to me is called until. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So until, we cool until. <laughs> you know I know what I'm saying? About that. <laughs> so until is, you know, I was looking for this until. I did this until. Until is the biggest word to me. So I, 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 approach, until death do I approach it like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But like marriage is definitely a business move. It's to it's to keep your ties together. It's so your taxes can be different. So your life insurance can be different. Your health insurance. Everything is business. Even relationship. Hey, soccer game at two. We eat at four. Pick them up at school. What you doing? What you paying? What you spending? Why you spending? Where are you earning? Mm-hmm. Why are you working that much? Why are you not working? It's all business. Just with love, sprinkling. Love is just keep us together and keep us able to be compatible and be able to have a conversation clearly. You know what I'm saying? Which don't happen with everybody, but that's how it's supposed to be. Gotcha. I love you, baby. Don't don't think nothing that I said. You know, I don't sleep you, on couch. You ain't say nothing. <laughs> you ain't say nothing wrong. You just say how I'm you feel. The east side. It don't matter. <laughs> ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Two more minutes away. Yeah, shit. Don't let the bridge stop us. Yeah, that. <laughs> shout out to the east side too, man. Don't let the bridge stop us, man. It's Y'all hard. ever did like a big huge show on the east side? Uh, we did a show outside us in Common, so it was that type of show. But right. yeah, we've done one. All we've right. done a couple. I saying. definitely want to do something, maybe a pops or something. I don't know. Shop nah, we did a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Blackmans. We did Blackmans. We did uh a lot of stuff for uh my people out there. We did a couple club. We did a little club run for a couple of years. Blackmans. I remember. I'm, yeah, I remember we did y'all a couple. Being in Blackmans, that was a little little rock incident. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um so man, 
What's going on up today? Because I know we talked about the films that uh, what we got coming up and what we're gonna be working on. Um, like, what can the city expect from Kiwa itself? Like, you know, I know you're still doing the lunatic thing. You know that mm -hmm. that y'all brothers forever. I don't give a fuck what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, business. Y'all y'all gonna handle that. But in the day, y'all still gonna be brothers, and I know you know that. Mm -hmm. um, but what you got specifically that could be expected? Um, I'm definitely, um, I'm getting married to my clothes. Okay. Um, I just never married it. I went with it for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely going to do that business move and marry uh, clothing. What are we thinking about? Industry. Store? Clothing industry. Um, Business-wise, I would do a warehouse before I do a store. Gotcha. Um, I would deal with production and manufacturing more than I deal with. A face to face customer. Okay. You know what I'm saying right now. Um, I'm really into movies. That's really my love. I, I've uh, I have about forty movies, maybe. Um, at least the synopsis, you know. At least, at least the breakdown. Okay. But I have at least twelve written, fully. Okay. Well, shit. We you know what I'm saying. Together, man. We gotta get together. So I got some it's stuff. Close. I just want to start from the community aspect first and mm -hmm. like a purpose some have a purpose with your movies have a purpose with what you do i can do a movie about this i can do a movie about that but right now what's needed you know mm -hmm. and i think it's uh us teaching the kids in a in a uh, in a visual way you know what i'm saying because they see bad and then we come in and tell them good so we got to show them what that looked like mm -hmm. and i can talk to you even with today i'm walking in the mall and i was just like we need to change black history. Like, we so Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King that we not you. Mm. We not me. We not him who owned the construction company. We not him who the leader of this bank. We not him who, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. We not entrepreneurs showing the kids this is what you can do, this is how you do it. We talking about we so on civil rights and they so far from that they're not even going to listen to that. Nah. You know? That's like when I teach veganism, I don't talk about portobello. I don't talk about asparagus. I talk about vegan sloppy joe, mm -hmm. vegan chicken. Stuff that vegan, can relate to. Something that you can do, you know what I'm saying? I do the sex with a rubber thing rather than no sex. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's just how you talk to who you're talking to. Find out who you're talking to because we can get across, but we need a book just to show them the people that's important in our culture. That can help them right now. They can Google them. They can go see them. They can go, you know what I mean? Touch them and really be tangible with somebody that can help you instead of reading somebody his story. Reading his story, mm -hmm. we're going to be lost every time anyway. A lot of the people don't even know St. Louis got so much black history. It's crazy. Like, I'm talking mm -hmm. about crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, it's getting out a little more. They start understanding that people came through here from the Madam C. Day Walkers and, the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just people who really put it down in this mother for real. The, the Annie Malone's and the, you know what I mean? Yeah. But man, I appreciate you coming through, chopping it up with me, man. We're going to have to uh, do this again. Um, you know, especially when you're about to release something, because I said, I already know we're going to do a movie. That's already etched in stone. We're doing that. And you know, uh, if and bust about it, um, you know, so. Um, and, and so everybody be looking for the casting call. Yes. Be you looking for that. We finna you know, move forward. We got a location, so you ain't gotta go nowhere and do that. You know, mm -hmm. we got a location here at so. the spot. Um, oh, before I, before I go, what's your take on? Cause I'm you just said something about like you know cats are being led. Like y'all put a foundation down here in the city. You know, I think of how to properly do music to get to the next level. Mm -hmm. What's your take on the music now, especially coming out of the city? It's really about the customer, man. So whoever they, whoever, whatever vibe they be on, that's what's going to move. Mm -hmm. Now, it's customers everywhere, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to look at our city. So you got to figure out, is your music even for our city? True. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to come back. Because sometimes people don't understand until you leave. That's anything. That's relationships. That's anything. Yeah. You don't see what you missed. And he be like, oh, he was tight. Yeah, I always knew he was tight, but I just didn't ever repost it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it don't take much to repost it. Like, I don't care. If I'm if I'm scrolling down and I see you doing something, boom. I already built your character. You already a character. I might 
I'm gonna have a one percent chance of messing up by reposting what you do. Mm. Cause I know you ain't built like that. You ain't doing nothing crazy. Mm. You doing right stuff. So I'm gonna push it. I might not even hurt it or see it or nothing. Mm. I reposted it. It don't. It didn't hurt nothing. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I know what it might mean. You know what I mean? And that's what we gotta do. Everything means something, but it's all about the customer because they the people who can change everything. Like, and right now they're not even customers. You can't even call them customers because they're not spending nothing. Yeah. It's just the intention span. So it's just here. <laughs> That's yeah. deep as hell. Just imagine if you got a restaurant and somebody would walk in your restaurant, look at your menu, walk past the table, lick the barbecue sauce, <laughs> and then walk out and don't spend no money with you. You'd be pissed off. So that's what music is. They tricking us with the streaming and all that, man. Where that ten dollars at? I don't get nothing for that subscription that you did for seven ninety nine a month. That ain't mine. Nothing. You get a half of a you know, for strength. When I throw a party, you buying liquor ain't me. All right, I'm at the door. Start right there. Don't get in free with me and then spend $40 at the bar. Yeah. You need to do that opposite. Split it with me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> spend 20 at the door, 20 at the bar now. That's me. Mm-hmm. You know, right now, last night, I paid to get in the comedy show. Okay. I ain't have to. But how it's going to grow. If you can't spend forty five dollars, then I'm gonna go tomorrow and spend forty five dollars with somebody I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like what? Like what? Where you know where they add up at? So we always gotta put in the pot, man. If uh, if everybody like even with the movie thing, if I say, yo, give me ten dollars for the kids, they're gonna be like, I mean, what you gonna do with it? I mean, uh, it's always something, right? Mm-hmm. But that same person that asked to buy you a drink for fourteen dollars, no. you don't know what I did with that drink. You know, I threw it on my shoulder. <laughs> you don't know what I did, so why are you so amped on that? You ain't that drink helped me make sex that not to you or nothing. Like I don't understand why you so amped on that. But if I say do something positive, then it be word to you. Mm-hmm. So that's what we have to create. We have to create something where we give them something they love already, and then we taking proceeds out of that and putting it sort of towards something positive. Gotcha. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So if I got like this crow right now, if I got dirty mugs, us, when we doing uh, um. And we're doing the show, then, and I say $25. 1,000 people, $25. You'll go see Dirty Mother for $25. You'll go see us buy ourselves for $25. You'll go see Darius Brad for $25. Okay, so I'm saying you see all three of us for $25. Mm-hmm. You come. 25 times 1,000 is $25,000. We can't put 10, 10 of that can go to a scholarship every time. Yeah. Cause, but if you say, Donate ten dollars. <laughs> Donate twenty. Boy, we were well, long. Well. We were like, oh, what you doing? <laughs> Shoot, you you tripping? That's my taxes on my Earth forces. <laughs> you taking my weed money? They like, want to know where it's going. Where it's going? Why it's going? And I understand that too. But we just have to look at it different, man. We have to switch it around because your little bit, you know. If I got a hundred dollars, you ask me for fifty. I ain't never fifty dollars short. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna give you the fifty because I know I can hustle back up on another fifty. That's just my style. Appreciate you, man, for coming through, fucking with me, man. Y'all already know. Uh, also, if y'all seen these right here, these are schools, so these are CDs for you youngsters that don't know what the hell that is. These are CDs for all St. Louis artists. Uh, you know, I'm building up my collection, man. So uh, I got the uh, y'all first joint coming too. So mm-hmm. and you know it's on Amazon. That's, yeah, yeah, I got all this, shit. all this from Amazon. I didn't know damn CDs. I can get CDs. From yeah, Amazon. you can get. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's deep. Yeah. I'm sure you was on album. Like, damn. Like, why, why, like, why, why don't we want to pay ten dollars for your album? Like, for somebody's album. Like, you know how much work they put in that. You don't want to give them ten. No. We shitty. This gonna, we going <laughs> we gonna lose the whole music industry because only the top ten people eating off streams. Like, Man. for real, it yeah. ain't like let's get real with it. It ain't nothing to make you stop working. You ain't making that many streams, but you know how much money you have to spend to get that many streams. So you ain't got that. So you're not getting that. Mm-hmm. If you ain't got that hundred grand to spend on getting streams. Enough to make you say, "Woo, we streams!" Mm-hmm. I promise you, that two thousand dollars every three months ain't gonna change your life like that. Yeah, you know that, what I'm saying? I seen so, one producer say he produced some shit for Chris Brown, and, and his streams was like, like almost a million. He got like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, and he was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and that's real talk. So, what that ten at? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all hear him? Where that T in that? Where that T in that? That's Matter what we fact, know. Come out tomorrow, man. It's more than $10, though. Uh, I, I got my ticket. Uh, me and my boy Els got our tickets. 
but it's gonna be crazy. Lineup is crazy. We got half of the city gonna be in the building. Yeah. Um, man, it's just gonna be it's gonna be dope. Ballpark Village, six o'clock. If you don't know, three one four day. We in that thing, man. Y'all make sure y'all check us out. It's your boy, Big Homie Ace, Keywine in the building. Um, you got a website for the merch? Uh, so you see me. Mark- the clothing line, not merch, because that's two different things. Yeah, definitely. I got both. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now, I work out at youseememarketplace.com. I really don't love it. Okay. Um, I don't like that vibe right now. I really like, I've been doing more DM stuff than anything because it's, for one, I'm doing creativity because I got, like, I don't know, I got anxiety and all that right now. Mm-hmm. Depression, whatever y'all call it, everybody call it. But I work through my, I work, I do creativity. So anything you see that you see me, I touched it. I didn't just send it off. Nothing. That don't mean you can't. I'm just saying I'm touching it. So gotcha. if I'm busy this week, it might take a little longer. If I'm not, come on with it. You know what I'm saying? And I like to touch it. I don't like every, right now, I don't like everybody being able just to grab it. You're not even, some people ain't even cool enough mm-hmm. to even be it in that like that to me gotcha. I, I, y'all see in the back i got my joint i'm, I'm gonna have that on tomorrow definitely and, and i gotta get that mccloy one too oh yeah, yeah so i've been doing school i've been doing alumni uh you know i'm a st louis alumni that's why i be on mm-hmm. i be on because that's memory of the good times that's why i try to stick with you know the good old days you know what i'm saying exactly which is god good old day yeah church Okay. <laughs> man, y'all messing with me, man. We holler at y'all later, man. This your boy, big homie Ace. Yeah, you see me? Yes, sir. We out.